This is my shower that I am currently remodeling. Let's go inside and I want to show you how it looks like. And what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the ceiling, as you can see here. What I'm actually want to do is I want to tile the ceiling. So this is my ceiling here, as you can see. This is not a, a normal sheet rock. This is a, a dense arm or sheet rock. It's actually a fiberglass. And uh, this is the way it looks like from the back. It's a water and mold resistance. And it's a very, very strong, so you can actually tile on it with no problem. And what I want to talk about how I install this piece of fiberglass sheet rock. When you actually want to tile uh, the ceiling and you want to install it, you have to make sure that the distance between the joists is one foot, not two foot. That's very important. Even if you install Audi Baker, uh, on a ceiling and you want to tile it, it's better to make sure that the distance between the joists here is actually one feet. The other important thing is where to start. That's a very important because what you have is you have an area that you want to tile, but this is kind of a rectangle. But as you know, nothing is perfect. And especially when you're building a house, the walls are not always perfect rectangle so you have to find the center here is the center I found it here and what I want to show you how I did it how I found the center and when you tile you really need to start from the center not from any other place unless you have a special situation if you start from the center you will always get better result and everything looks symmetric so let's say this is my ceiling area as you can see, it doesn't look a perfect rectangular. This is 65 inch, this is 63 inch, this is 35 inch, this is 37 inch. And in addition, this is not 90 degrees. This is a kind of exaggeration with what I have. But let's say I have this kind of ceiling area. So how do I find the center? So this is a reposite, look like reposite or kind of not a perfect rectangle and the way to do it is to actually have a diagonal from here to here and from here to here so you put two straight lines, straight diagonal line here to here sorry about my sliding, it's not very straight but you can see the center is here okay but that's always work when you actually put two straight diagonal in a rectangle, you always find the center. But in my case, I did it like that, but there is an easy way to do it when you have a rectangle that is almost perfect. So let me show you. So this is my ring, it's close to my ceiling area. And what you're doing here, because sometimes you cannot actually go to diagonal, as some kind of a big roller to move here. So usually what you can do to get an approximate to the center of the ceiling is just to take this width here and find the center of it, the middle of the point here, let's say it's here, and the height here, find the middle point here, find the middle point here, and find the middle point in the top here. And what you're doing here, you're actually taking your pencil and you have put straight line here and straight line here and you get, because this is almost perfect rectangular, you get a very close point to the center. Okay, I did it in two ways and I get a very close point, I will show you. So this is the way to find the center, so remember this is the right way. Here you actually put two diagonals. If you can do it, do it like that. And if not, try to do it like that. You probably be very close to the center or in the center when the rectangle are going to be perfect. So this is my ceiling and this is the center. And the way I did it actually, I used the two ways. One of them to draw the diagonal line between this corner here to the corner here 
and between this corner here to this corner here, I use this trim actually, this is shooter trim, to do it. But I also did the other approach, which means to find the middle point between this corner here to this corner here, okay, and between this corner here and this corner here, and this is the middle, one point here, and the other point was there. And then I draw a straight line between of them, and also I found, and that is actually the height of the wheel, whatever, between this point here to this point here, this is the middle point, and between this corner here to this corner here, I found another point here, that's the center, in the middle point, and I draw a line between here to here, and guess what? I get it almost the same point because this filling area is almost perfect rectangle because I designed it like that, but still it's not perfect. And what I want to say is, after you find, after you using, you found the center and the line, what you're taking, you're taking this, this rectangle, okay, and you use one of the lines as a reference. This is the reference line I use. And then what you're doing is, you're putting the uh, scribe match here on the reference, okay? And then you're going to draw the line, the other line, because it has to be 90 degrees. That's the way to work. So remember again, let me show you again. This is the line that I stretch between this middle point to this middle point. After I did it, I used this scribe notch. I put it here on the center. Okay, here. And then, and then I draw the line from here until the end. So that's the way to do it. Now I'm quite sure that this installation will be symmetric and it's going to look very nice. So the other things you need to care about is when you're actually installing tile on a ceiling is that the ceiling is really flat. This is very important. This ceiling is very flat. That's the way it should look, because if it's not going to be flat, you're going to be very difficult to install tile and the probably will fall down in time. The other things I want to talk about is this line from here to here. I'm going to put here a flat, a flat piece of wood, stick, and I'm going to put it here. That's going to be my reference to the tile that I'm going to install. I'm going to start from this side and I'm going to install tile to where this area. So this is going to be my reference first. And then I can remove it and follow the tiles. Let me show you how flat is this piece of wood. If I look at it like that on this Look at it like that, you can see how flat it is. You have to be with the level, exactly. So from here and here. The flat stick is installed. And now what I want to show you, you see this striped notch. I'm taking it and I just put it here. Okay. Exactly in the center, that's the center, and I'm actually drawing from here a line. Okay, so this is another very flat piece of stick. I'm putting it here just to draw the line from the center to the hand. Okay, so now I draw, I have a reference here and I have a new line, 90 degrees, perpendicular to this stick. So now I can be very easily comfortable to install the tiles just using this reference.
What I want to show you, see this is the stick and that is the 90 degrees line that's coming here and you can see, here you can see two lines, let me explain to you what's going on. You see this line to the right here? This is the line that actually cut this width to two. But because I use the reference at this line, and I'm taking 90 degrees, so you can see the imperfection of this rectangle of this uh, ceiling area, and you can see this is the difference, it's a quarter of an inch. Okay, so just let you know the difference, how accurate is this. This is another angle to see the area, what I did here. And this is the stick, as you can see. Now I want to show you here, you see here? That stick is exactly sit with this style here. And the way it's happened is, it's not in a coincidence, definitely not, because this is exactly this point, it's exactly the center of this corner and this corner. And when I installed the tiles here, I started from the center. Everything here started from the center, as you can see, so I don't, I don't make any mistakes here.